just want the paper. I just want the paper. Trying to run that check up, I ain't worrying about no hater. I just want the paper. I just want the paper. Run run with that bankroll on my life, ain't looking for danger. Yeah. Yeah, we getting money over here. Getting money over here. Yeah. I see them haters over there. See them haters over yeah. there. Them boys be wishy washy, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I'm Hood Talk News. What's good? What's good? Let me tell you niggas something, man. All you haters. And this got a lot to do why. Nipsey not here with us today. Let me let you motherfucking haters know something, man. Being a motherfucking hater ain't going to get you jumped over the motherfucking street to success, man. You ain't finna jump to success because you hate on this man. You so goddamn jealous you take this nigga out and think that going to speed up you being something in life. Of being better. Damn, y'all don't realize that shit? Man, look, man. God got his time for everybody, man. You got to let your time come. And what's meant for you is meant for you, man. What's meant for this man probably ain't meant for you. Just because you want to be in the same position he in, that ain't what God got planned for you, man. That ain't your lane, man. Y'all niggas got to learn how to follow your own path and be what the fuck you going to be, man. God damn it. Nigga think, oh, shit. I'm going to just go hate on this nigga, take this nigga out, and I'm going to be the king. That shit don't work like that. Maybe in the 1800, motherfucker, when the king take out another king, when, when a person take out a king and then they end up the king, that shit don't happen like this in real life. Not right now. Not in the modern day time. You take out another motherfucker, you just going to be Lord in the motherfucking king. You ain't going to be shit. All over motherfucking jealousy and shit. You niggas get mad and want to hate on a nigga for no reason. Man, man, look, I'm going to tell you, man, if I don't like something a motherfucker doing, I always been this way in life. I just steer away from that shit and then I tell myself I can do better. But I'm not going to go hate on this man shit to make myself be heard, to make myself be known to for so people could start respecting me. Respect do not work like that. God damn it, when you haters going to learn this shit? This shit ain't going to boost you the fuck up. Because you hating on another man, you think, oh, god damn, I'm going to hate on this nigga so hard and people going to start liking me better. This shit do not work like that, man. I try to tell you motherfucker time after fucking time, but you still do not listen. You still don't listen. The shit do not work like that, man. What's meant for you gonna happen for you. Just because you see this man, oh, he living a lifestyle. He driving a nice car. He got a big house. He famous. He successful. Everybody know him. Everybody love him. You can't buy that type of love with money, and you can't buy that type of love with hate. You understand me? What's meant for you is going to come to you the way it's supposed to come to you. You could wish a part of star all your fucking life, and you would never be in that man's position if that wasn't meant for you to carry that same lifestyle. And I want to tell you this. A lot of stuff what you haters don't understand it ain't meant for you because God know your heart. A lot of stuff you can't handle. You know what I'm saying? He gave Nipsey Hussle fame because he know he can handle what come along with fame. Everybody ain't built to handle what can come along with fame. Everybody ain't built to handle what can come along with success. Everybody ain't built for that. So he going to give you what you built for, what your heart can take. How much you can stand, how much you can bear. Nipsey was a, 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 a peaceful person. He can handle the hate when niggas hating on him. He ain't gonna go out, he ain't gotta go out there and do nothing because he knew that come with the game. See, some certain people understand, look, this type of stuff come with the game and don't mind it. But a motherfucker fucked up, hating motherfucker like you, you probably will mind it. 
Motherfucker say something a little small to you. And, 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 and you probably can't take that. You probably want to go hurt a man. Because you ain't built for that type of lifestyle. A lot of you cats want to be rappers and all type of stuff. You think you could come on somebody else uh, video, drop a comment, and say how whack this nigga is. And think you're going to build your success like that. Like somebody going to say, oh shit, such and such said this nigga whack and he better. So I'm going to go click on his shit. The game does not work like you small-minded niggas think. I keep telling y'all this, man. You got too much hate in your blood. You got to be trying to be the best you you can be. You can't be the best Nipsey Hussle. You can't be the best Snoop Dogg. You can't be the best, you know, somebody else. Point blank, period. And ain't got to be just a rapper, any kind of person, you know what I'm saying, with success. And you scribe and trying to tell me, I'm going to be better than this nigga. So I'm going to go hate on him to knock his shit. That shit don't work like that, man. Y'all got to start taking from what you don't like from people and take that and do it better. That's the only way you're going to be successful, man. But even if you try to do it better and it's not meant for you, you can try a lifetime. Man, I know niggas try a lifetime to be something and, 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 and they was better than the person that's doing it. But it wasn't meant for them because God know what they can handle. And what they can't handle. Some of you people feel like you built for certain stuff, but you're not built for it, man. You're not built for it. Because you feel like you built for it. You ain't. God know your heart. He know your soul. He know everything about you, man. He know everything about you. You're not built for what you're trying to get. And you might not never get it. You might go a whole lifetime trying to get it and never get it. And wonder why you didn't get it. Because that wasn't for you, man. So, because it ain't fly your way the way you want it to fly your way, that don't mean you could go hate on another person and think it going to come your way, man. It don't work like that, man. You don't get what you want in life for trying to push another motherfucker down and think you're going to step up. Whatever fly that man away, whatever happened for that man, that's how his book was written, man. You can't change that. I don't give a damn how much you hate on it and do whatever you're going to do. You could take him out, but he's still going to live long, just like Nip. They took him out, but he bigger. He, look, no disrespect, but Nip probably bigger now than he ever was going to get living. And that ain't no disrespect. Because everybody, when we die, we live to die leaving a mark on this earth. That's, that's what we live for. And he did that. And he did that. We live to die. We live to die. Everybody know we live to die. But everybody want to leave a mark. That's what we fighting for on this earth. We want to leave a mark. And look, your mark might not be big as Nipsey Hussle Mark. But as long as you left one, you could change two, three people's life. You still did something like Because them two, three people's life you changed, they might be big as a Nipsey Hussle and go on to change millions of people's lives. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to wake up, man, and realize, man, stop it with all the hating and all that stuff, there. Because haters is small in a big world, man. Yo, one little, yo, one little person hating, man, ain't going to do nothing. To nobody, you can go and you can leave a uh, uh, you can leave a comment on a, a celebrity page or whoever page, even my page. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't gonna stop what's already meant for that person, man. You might well just keep your mouth closed and go on. Like, oh, I don't like what the nigga saying, so I'm just leave him the fuck alone. I ain't gonna say nothing because guess what? When you do that, only thing you're doing is hurting yourself. When you do that, because. People that do that, God, no, I'm not going to give you the same type of pressure that this man could take. And I'm not going to give you the success that this man could take. Because just so I see you hating on this man, you won't be able to take it if it come to you. He taking it well. He ain't trying to strike back at you. He ain't trying to hurt you. He sitting back laughing. He taking it well. But when you do that, he know you can't take that pressure. That's why you doing it. So y'all got to stop it, man, and wake up and understand, man, how this world go. And if you want anything good in life, just keep your mouth closed. You ain't got nothing to do with it, the person said, because opinions, like, opinions is like assholes. Everybody got one. We all know that saying. Opinions is like assholes. Everybody got one. 
So y'all got to understand that, man. And wake up and realize, man. Because hate ain't get you nowhere. You're speeding and ain't getting nowhere fast. Going through comment, comment, pay, pay, just hating. You ain't finna get nowhere with that. You think somebody gonna click on your motherfucking shit and say, oh man, I'm finna click on his shit because he hating. Or I'm finna ride with him because he hating. You see, you see motherfucking, motherfucking uh, people dropping goddamn 50 billion comments and you think they gonna just stop and everybody gonna focus on your hate? Ain't nobody gonna focus on your hate. Nobody ain't studying your hate, man. But and I ain't I ain't paying it no attention. But what what that does is give me more shit to talk about. To try to help you dumb motherfuckers. That's all it do. It just give me more shit to talk about to try to help you motherfuckers. You stupid motherfuckers. That's all it do. Cause I be like, pull them. They don't understand how this life go. Pull them, man. They spilling their hearts out, man. I be I just read some of the comments and stuff, and and, and not just so, uh, with me, with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That's doing something, and I see how the hate come at them, and I just be like, pull them, pull them, man. They don't know how this shit work. My grandma always told me, you ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all. Don't bring that upon yourself. If you feel that man doing something wrong in time, shit, he'll get his if it, if if it's meant for him to get it. If, if not, just let that man speak because at the end of the day, none of us in a situation, especially like a Nipsey situation, none of us know the truth. All that's speculating because we know the truth. Everybody will be in custody right now. Everybody, will, this shit will be over with, not talking about no more, and they'll be going to trial with this shit, and that'll be done. But you see all the shit coming out over there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just trying to put pieces together. Until the truth do come out. And I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas talking about some oh you out of town niggas talking and all that shit that listen, we love Nipsey just as much. When you become a celebrity, goddammit, you 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 your heart, you know what I'm saying? You are you a part of everybody life. How many motherfuckers grew up on Michael Jackson and feel Mike was a part of your fucking life and when he died, you was hurt just as much as everybody else. Because he been a part of your life. So when you become a celebrity, all that neighborhood shit, y'all niggas talking that shit go out the door. He's a part of every, Nipsey Hussle's a part of everybody neighborhood. Everybody loved him. So it ain't just for you niggas to figure it out. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you like this here. It's just like when 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 you see the police doing their job, trying to, when, when, when the police supposed to be solving the case in a motherfucking, in, in their area. You know what I'm saying? In their region, their neighborhood. When they ain't doing the job right, guess what? The feds step in and say, you niggas sit to the back. Y'all ain't trying to get this solved. So, motherfucker, that's what we doing. We ain't calling us the feds or nothing like that, but we stepping in saying, look, you niggas ain't right there next to him and y'all ain't solving this motherfucking case. It's time for us to step in. It's time for us to step in and start figuring this shit out. You niggas right there and don't want to say nothing. It's time for us to step in and start figuring this shit out. You understand me? And let me tell you something, man. I don't give a fuck about what you niggas say about my opinion about this nigga, that nigga that was around him, God damn it, damn right, I talk about a lot of shit, and so of all you motherfuckers that oh, nigga, you jumping up sudden, look, I talk about a lot of shit, nigga, whatever I feel, whatever come to my mind, nigga, I don't write down none of this shit, nigga. Whatever come to my head that I think I need, feel I need to talk to you niggas about. And you niggas talking about something, why would them niggas do this, or why would this nigga do that? Man, you better look around. And if you look around all them niggas, that was around him. Nipsey was the only one that's living. He was the only one that was living. These niggas got bummy t-shirts on. These niggas still riding in goddamn Toyota cameras. Nipsey and Rose was and everything. And one thing I learned from my experience of growing up in the motherfucking hood, let me tell you something, man. When a nigga ain't eating just as good as you, that shit becomes a problem. That shit turned into, fuck that nigga, man. I don't give a fuck about that nigga anyway. Yeah, man, that nigga, you know how I many niggas I done heard? Oh, man, that nigga ain't fuck that nigga. He ain't eating with me. When you when I thought niggas was dogs, when I thought niggas was homeboys, and I hit them niggas discussing with other niggas like, man, yeah, man, fuck that nigga, man. Yeah, man, that nigga, man. And that nigga gonna be goddamn and doing nothing for a nigga. And then, then the other nigga be like, man, I'm dog, I thought that was your dog. My nigga dog, your dog ain't looking out for you. And that's how these niggas' brains get manipulated, nigga. That's just how. And then a the nigga want to do something to you. They want to do something bad to you. They want to hurt you. Because they feel 
Your success supposed to be there. They supposed to have everything you got. And, and and all you hood niggas that's talking that bullshit, y'all niggas know that's how that shit go because you're probably one of them motherfucking niggas. So it hurts you to your heart when I tell the truth. Because cause, cause everybody that it don't hurt, they sitting there saying, get them. You right, hood talk. Get them niggas. You G speaking nothing but the truth. It hurt you niggas to the heart so bad that I'm telling the truth. Because you niggas love to live the opposite of what it really is. Because you got to think about it. If it was really like you niggas say, then the game would be a lot better. You a real nigga if you go to jail. The game would be a lot better. That shit ain't true. You a real nigga if you shoot a nigga. That shit ain't true. You a real nigga if you go out here and commit crime. That shit ain't true. And you niggas know that shit ain't true. How you going to be a real nigga from jail around a bunch of other niggas? Nigga, I like, I, I love females, boy. I love my wife, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be in no jail cell behind, uh, but you got to be a real fuck nigga that want to go to jail and be around a bunch of niggas for the rest of your life. So that tell me a lot about you niggas. Telling niggas this, you a real nigga if you do that. You got to be a bitch nigga, a faggot or something if you want a motherfucking, got that, I ain't got nothing against gay people, but boy, you got to be somebody that like men. You know what I'm saying? You got to be somebody that like men to goddamn it want to go to motherfucking jail for the rest of your motherfucking life with no female around, man. So you niggas better wait the fuck up, man. And get up on game, man. And start living by them old rules because you niggas is 40 and 30 years old looking like old ass dummies, man. What's wrong with you niggas, man? You niggas need to wait the fuck up, old motherfuckers still talking about what's the rule of the, of the street code and all that shit there. Fuck them street codes you talking about, nigga. We changing them motherfuckers. And what? What you gonna do, nigga? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit, nigga. None of you niggas ain't gonna do shit. We changing the street codes, nigga. Me and my people that, that ride with me, we changing the street codes, nigga. Time for some new shit, nigga. These young niggas need to be living, man. We want these niggas to live and have shit in life. You niggas don't want these niggas to have nothing but prison time, man. Because you niggas don't give a fuck. Because your life is already fucked up. So you want to steer the young people the wrong way. And that's the same shit that happened to Nip. Them niggas, old ass niggas' lives was already fucked up. So they felt like it was over for them. And this nigga, young nigga, fresh and shining on the block, they ain't like that shit because he reminded them of a, a, a young them when they was young and fresh. And they know they can't get that back. They know it's over for them. So you niggas better tighten up, man. Hood talk news, man. I'm out.